I can't help but bring myself to blather on about things that fascinate me, and, if not able to impart any sort of wisdom, I can attempt to impart a sense of experience. I'm certain I have some gameplay footage just laying around somewhere. Therefore, I'll use that to animate the screen, and I apologize for anyone not interested in both. Either listen in if you're not into Minecraft, or mute my dumbass and check out whatever the hell this is I did. Everyone wins, and I might start getting watch time. Or it just gives me an excuse to blab like a baboon for a while and feel good about myself because I quote-unquote made content. What is love? Is a great song, but also a good question. I've been on both sides of the fence with someone and without someone. Currently, without someone. A big shock. Well, now once you at least give yourself time to reflect and grow, and actually grow, not just a size or age, but also intellect and wisdom. An actual drive to live life instead of just lazily drifting through it just because. Not just some of the time, but all of the time. Okay, well, most of the time. Lazily drifting is still pretty nice and enjoyable. The point is, you have to want to actually learn and be better. Not be one of them common denominators. I used to be one of them. And in some cases, I guess I still am. I put in parentheticals. Unemployed. Either way, I'm also now a Christian. Well, I have somehow evolved into what you might now call a secular Christian. Now, I've checked with Gemini, and it turns out it is, in fact, an oxymoron to call yourself a secular Christian, which makes it perfect for me. Uh, first of all, I can tell you for a fact that this moron definitely breathes oxygen. A second, I mean, let's take Job for example. Ah, yes, the Book of Job! where the infinite, loving, living creator god of the universe, with perfect knowledge, makes a bet with the devil about one of his creation. And the infinite, loving, living creator god of the universe, with perfect knowledge, took the bet and allowed the devil to wreck his life. I, I mean, I'm talking later, children are getting treated like property and replaced afterwards like property. And after all that wreckage, all that really happens is that the infinite, loving, living creator god of the universe, with perfect knowledge, starts bragging about everything he did in creation and hammers down how Job don't know nothing. Truly, the true words of the inerrant word of God. And don't get me wrong, even in the most disgusting hardships of life, you can still find an attitude of gratitude and a drive for improvement. Some lose everything and still remain eternally grateful, yet others may lose hope. See, I can easily believe in Jesus, and I can absolutely put all my faith in Him. Why? Because the concept alone of taking all your fears, all your doubts, all your insecurities, and all of your hatred, crucifying it with Jesus on the cross. The religious metaphor of dying to your old self and giving all your burdens to the Lord, being raised anew to live a life of love, being dead to the law, we fulfill the law by loving one another. And Jesus said to forgive often and judge never. Uh, yeah, his daddy might have been a little out of pocket at times, and there was the one time at the temple, but I don't have to be too terribly worried about the dad, I'm just trying to marry his son. Anyway, he gives me peace, a better attitude of gratitude, and a lot less things I worry about throughout the day. Still unemployed, still in a camper in a fella's yard, God bless that man. And I've even recently acquired a vehicle I can hopefully start to pay back. Hashtag slaves for Jesus. Oh, that's right. We're not shying away from Leviticus either.
I'm bringing slavery back. Yup. Them filthy Gentiles don't know how to act. Yup. All right. Well, I reckon I rambled on enough for one day. And what about that lunchly review video? Junie Harper says. Junie Harper says. Junie Harper says. Last time I checked, it wasn't Junie Harper's face in the stained glass window at Arlen First Methodist. And never forget that Jesus loves you. And. I love you too.